And this leads, I believe, to, the, to what, I've, what I've termed the African Development Resource Cycle. And I think if you go across the African continents and you look at the examples of where that's existed, and I'm going to take you through a few now, you'll see the, 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 the impact of this. And first of all is the legislation of a new mining code. That's normally the first thing that investors look for or, or the juniors look for. And then the liberalization of the economy, exchange controls, repatriate, ability to repatriate funds. And then there's normally the basic undertaking of some desktop studies to look at the potential. And that's normally done by juniors. The majors also look at that. But very often it's the juniors who go in there with the early seed investment dollars and that leads to discovery success. And then based on the size of that discovery success, that's normally followed up by the majors coming in, taking a stake, acquiring the companies and then throwing a lot more capital to develop the projects and then really expand the resource potential of that, of that country.